Hey everybody, one wheeze here. It is 2.45 a.m. Thursday, March 12, 2015. I promised last night and uh, then today when I made uh, Chapter 12 Time Town Live that we would come in and we would finally, at last, uh, battle and hopefully defeat and capture Wolfgang. That's been something I've basically wanted to do uh, since I knew of Wolfgang before the game actually was available. So that's kind of been a goal on the agenda here. I've got the legendary trap ready. Uh, legendary undead trap, that is. I also have the uh, haunted hatchet ready. Apparently I gave Mastermind the spectral skull, but the haunted hatchet is kind of an axe. I kind of, you know, axe to grind or, you know, axe guitar. You know, you kind of use that intermittently, or interchangeably, I should say. Uh, that said, where we left off last time. It's interesting when you step on the bounce pad, they just stop the villain. Is. I couldn't figure out where the clock went, and I just ended the stream, it was like, I don't know, 5 in the morning or something, <laughs> and uh, I figured it out, it's uh, in here, so, right there, it's, you would not think, or at least I would not think that a clock would go into Persephone's place, but uh, that's apparently what happens. Okay, so it goes up there. <laughs> Even though the question mark is there, so uh, I walked in and saw it. I did not dare place it without being recording. And it's the legendary clock. I don't really know what it does, but it looks pretty cool. So maybe we can get it to do stuff at some point in time. I guess since we're in here, uh, actually, this is the evolved Dr. Crankcase. I recorded his villainography last night. Um, and his quest, so that was, you know, all in one thing. I've got about five episodes of villainography ready to go, but uh, I think he's a pretty cool villain. Uh, he and Wolfgang are two that I would absolutely love to see uh, posed, you know, as like a buyable or slash playable character. So, uh, that said, I'm going to go ahead and pull him out of here. <laughs> and I don't really know why I did that, I guess just so you could see and enjoy him. But what we're going to do is uh, fly off, I guess, to the future of Skylands here. I'd love to take you on the next mission, Skylander, but my ship doesn't exactly go 10,000 years into the future. You're gonna need to see that the pinchy fella. Okay, so, I figured he would have a crafty line to throw at us. But if you recall, the pinchy is from Time Town, and since we saved him and got everything back in order, he doesn't usually do things like this, but he agreed that he would help us out this one time. Ah, yes, we meet again once more, and this time so that the Pinchy can send you far, far into the future. Are you ready to travel the time, Skylander? Yes, we are. Hey, all right. Let the Pinchy now send you into the future to stop the evil wolf gang. Just hold real still here, please. I was surprised how many... Okay, so, uh, is that Blastertron? Won't have a trap for him. <laughs> and, uh, wolf gang. This should be interesting. Oh no! The future of Skylands look not so good! No one was around to stop the Wolf Gang from taking over when he arrived! Now he's building the ultimate speaker! The big bad woofer! Which is so loud, it makes everything blow up! You see what I mean? No good! You must stop the wolf gang and return him to the present, which is actually the past. Oh, this time travel is so confusing! Alright, so why exactly is he a what? bad guy? Did you say something? Sorry, but I can barely hear after that last sound check. They're getting louder and louder, you know? Nice retro look you've got going on there, stranger! And... Say, aren't you some kind of hero? Gosh, that's the best news I've heard all day. Although, I haven't really heard much of anything. Not with all this noise. Hey, maybe you can help us get rid of Wolfgang and that big bad woofer he's building. Watch out for his guards, though. They are even less friendly than they look. All right, so... I don't understand why Wolfgang is such a bad guy. I mean, it seems like he's doing some cool stuff in the future to me. What is that? Well, 
guess nothing. Uh, anyway, this is definitely an aesthetic we have not seen before in the franchise. Uh, very vibrant, it looks really good here on the Xbox One. Um, the Wolfer, though, I've got to give the uh, writers who ever came out with that one credit. He's, uh, of course, Wolfgang, the Wolf, and uh, we just found an elemental gate. That reminds me, before we progress, <laughs> let me take a look at the objectives. I always forget to do this uh, here in Trap Team for some reason. Alright, so instead of the Big Bad Wolf, it's the Big Bad Wolfer. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, destroy the Power Conduits and then defeat Wolfgang. At long last, we will have him trapped and we can play as him. Uh, the reason I'm going to have two dedicated traps for Wolfgang, the Haunted Hatchet will be basically for stock Wolfgang. Then I'm going to go back into uh, Skyland Academy, go up to the Trap Vault, and we're going to use the Legendary Spectral Skull uh, that you can get in the Toys R Us comic packs, which I haven't seen since I bought, basically. Uh, and they probably have them somewhere, or else they've all been scalped. But uh, I'm going to use that trap, which looks really cool, and it will be for the evolved form of Wolfgang. Uh, 90, probably 90, 95% chance I will prefer uh, the standard aesthetic of Wolfgang over his evolved form, so I'm preparing accordingly. But uh, don't lose any lives. 13 areas is all, and only 35 enemies. Uh, if I remember correctly, Time Town, Chapter 12, we had 70 enemies, that's double. Uh, Blastertron, we've got Wolfgang. Elemental Gates, Fire and Light, Hallelujah, we have Nightlight and we can proceed. Uh, Story Scroll 1, 4 Treasure Chests, 2 Soul Gems, Wing Sapphire, Legendary Treasure, and 3 Hats. What I'll probably do, I really wanted to be doing this at about midnight, not 3 in the morning, but if I'm not just decrepitly tired, I'll probably come back in, record the what we missed, get the quest done for the villains, and take it from there. So, uh, let's drop down here. That was kind of started when we first came down. Alright, so the treasure is even changed, and like these little dark coins and uh, whatnot. So, I don't know, I was thinking maybe this would be like a troll radio, but note that to me, at certain times that looks like a dark element logo. But anyway, I guess we'll switch to Nightlight, get him back in the mix here. So, uh, Wallop will exit the portal. Wallop is a very large character. Uh, takes up the See the light. Oh, that poor hat. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so in we go. Master of the light is required. This is one of the perks of doing a slow playthrough. Skylanders of the light element are stronger in this zone. Our cage rule radio. This is a cool aesthetic. I like the checkerboard looking stuff. Hmm. Tonight only. There's so many people that use that same tune. Um, I was watching the games tonight when I was eating dinner. Oh, check those out. The future coins are awesome, but they're still not worth much. Uh, but I think Kia uses that too. And then earlier in the year, I think when it was Monopoly at McDonald's, their commercials were making a big deal about that. It's good to know, at least in the future, K-12 Radio survived, you know. And some of you might have thought, you know, Eon or the uh, Core of Light or something would have made it, but K-12 Radio, you know, the good things endure the test of time. I wonder if we can get a payout from this one, too. Ha-ha. I don't know if I've ever heard that tune. Anyway, I guess we should proceed. We got our money. Okay, so what just went down? That made that a harp. So let's go see what this did. Oh, it's kind of a good game. Oh, jeez. I wasn't really planning on the platforms moving. Okay, well then. The future is complicated, and we did not come prepared. Looks like this must be stationary. 
I don't know what's going on. Figure there's some stuff in here when you know. Okay, well. The, I have to say, the coins look epic. I like the uh, bored look they get. Really? Come now. Well, I guess you have to walk this way to make it go that way. Alright. I don't know why I shouldn't have even bothered for that one coin. <clears throat> but we did. So. I go. I guess we'll just keep on keeping on. Oh my gosh. Okay, well let's try this again. I'm not gonna flip that switch. I guess these will be stationary as a result. No. <clears throat> so what do these switches do exactly? I'm left wondering. Alright, so this, if we walk that way, should take me to this coin. And... Let's see, if I walk this way... Nothing happens. So, if we go over here... Alright, so these two... Oh, now they go. not doing what they were just doing, and I guess it's because of the switch, which I'm still not going to hit. I just kind of want to explore this area. So, there's that. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So there's some loot over there in the bounce pad, so we must be able to go up. I wonder if you need to hit those switches before you can go up. Things haven't been being explained that well here as of late. Oh well, you know, we'll go through it this way without using switches, and then maybe we'll figure out what they're for. Uh, I have not actually upgraded him. I kept thinking I was waiting so I could get a second one. Uh, Nightlight and, uh, Gold and glory. the other characters, and I've not been able to do that, so... Which I guess now they're supposed to have single releases, but I don't know how well that's going to go. I'm trying not to... Really? Well, fun then. Well, why did it move a second ago? You know? I don't know what's in here, but it's probably not worth the effort. So I don't know, they have to be like, synced up. Apparently so. Uh, we did no switches this time, so we know we can at least get to the platforms here. And that's probably what we need. I couldn't imagine there being like, you know, multiple items in here. Okay, if that was anything but elemental power, I'd be pretty happy. Uh, but the Koshnik, Kokoshnik, I don't know what it is. Uh, that might look okay on some Skylanders, but it's not really my style. So the answer is no. That would actually be helpful, I guess, in elemental areas now. Is there any... It seems like there should be a platform to the other side as well. But I guess since we're up here... I mean, like, what exactly does that allow you to do? I don't understand it, I guess. Like, what's the point? What if we just jump off? What's gonna happen? Nothing. So... What are you supposed to do? I mean, like, that really makes no sense to me. It's like, I'm watching the backgrounds there, and that appears to just be, like, barriers of some sort, so... If we raise all that up, maybe we can access an area we previously couldn't? I don't know. Um... Okay, I don't think any of these jumps are makeable. 
Let's, I guess, try and see where we land. Okay, so that totally spazzed this thing out. I think that should be all that's in here, but... We didn't really... Hmm. Now, I don't see any platforms over there at all. So I guess this one just resets this one area. Maybe. Right now, right now, right now. This is very confusing. I'm pretty sure we've done everything you're supposed to do, but I don't exactly understand what the point of these switches is. Because we've just literally done it all. I, as far as I can imagine. Try. So we've been over here. Oh, come on now. You know what? I don't want to spend 30 minutes in here. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> um, it's a neat concept. I just I'm not quite sure what the concept is. So. Let's really stick with Nightlight for a while. I haven't seen him much since the Chaos Dimension Islands. All that and we got a hat, basically, is what you need to take from that. Now, I'm assuming this switch will actually kill that gate, but I could be wrong. But we're not. Now, will it turn back on? Yes. Okay. Can't imagine a scenario where we'd need to do that, but you never know. And yet again, the future coins are awesome. What? Did you say something? No. Sorry, but I can barely hear after that last sound check. They're getting louder and louder, you know? Nice retro look you've got going on there, stranger. And say, aren't you some kind of hero? Gosh, that's the best news I've heard all day. Although, I haven't really heard much of anything. Not with all this noise. Okay. So I thought he might say something different, that's why I'm letting him do this, but I'll give him this one time, and after this, if it's identical this time, I'm skipping it any time this happens again. So, here we go. I haven't played Nightlight in a while. Uh, what do you know? So let me actually get him off, because I'd like to get the bonus stuff for Wallet. Hammer it home! So we always have the wrong character at the wrong time. Guess we have to hit him from behind. It's just like a Mario game. So obviously the quicker the character. Like that's something Flashwing would just like decimate with a flawless victory. Wallop's actually fairly quick uh, for a big guy. Alright, so that looks to be a villain quest. This is a platform, that's a platform, and I always take the wrong ones. You know? Uh, to me, being on the side, that would be the bonus area. And then that would be the way you're supposed to go for the level, but I never seem to do it right. So, let's uh, see if we can talk to this guy. Ice cream in the future. Looks like a rage me. In these times of oppression and hopelessness, I know just what Skylands needs. Ice cream! And I like that guy. You, man. Problem is, I have no customers. What I need is advertising. Long ago, there lived a rage mage who was supposedly the best pitchman in the business. So good, he could sell ice cream in the future, they all said. If you happen to run into him, tell him to stop by so we can see if the rumors are true. Okay, so that's kind of a cool sound of deal. And I'm hoping that this is the bonus route and not the way to progress. Thank you for choosing Future Cab, the taxi of tomorrow, today! Little Cyclops looking dude. That's a kind of a cool taxi. Ah, so we did do the right thing this time. And that is Gear Shift Soul Gym. Which I needed that, so that's one of the reasons I continued on. I plan to upgrade her after Wallop, however I might interject Elite Whirlwind and Trigger Happy. Do have two gear shifts that were covered there. Uh, new power unlocked. It is the swing shift. Let's check that out. 
Everyone says she upgrades very well. And again, everyone said to pre-order her, or you wouldn't get her, so... I, don't know. I still think she must be going to be hard to find once everything's gone. So, I mean, if you haven't got her and you see her, I would split out. So we can't go back that way. I was thinking I'd do that, just kind of see. Now, over there, I see the ice cream cone, and in the top corner under the Earth logo, I see a... It's like a boost pad, perhaps. Uh, this is a nice vantage point. It almost looks like a light bulb or a chaos something. Um, can't really tell much about that far out. If he talks again, okay, thank goodness. I was gonna say, uh, we are skipping that dialogue. Now that's a little... looks like you can land on something down here. Guess not. There is a little doorway down there with a little pedestal. That's what I was thinking. Sometimes they do sneaky stuff, so I'll just try to jump off here, too. That's better safe than sorry. So, to the left is the Soul Gym, and I guess this is the progressive way. Thank you for choosing Future Cam, the taxi of tomorrow, today. The taxi of tomorrow, today. I like that. We've arrived at our destination. Thank you for choosing Future Cam. Okay, so you cannot go back. So that's what you need to know. Oh, can't wait to see the look on Wolfgang's ugly face when we blow up his speaker. Is this breakable? It looks important. Let's see what this light bulb is. Ooh, that's snazzy. I like the aesthetics there too. The blue and the purple. Oh wow, I don't like that. There is no way those were hitting us. I I stood right in the middle of that. I guess you have to be in the middle of where they'll just say you got hit. So, this feels very Mario-ish. They seem to come in waves of three. There's a drop down here. Can we do anything with this? So, I guess we'll go... <laughs> Alright. Um, there's a troll radio there. So I guess the switch must be down here, and then you just have to hope you don't jump up into a missile. Okay, so there's the deal, so you will be safe that direction. So that's good. You shouldn't get hit by these unless you jump. This looks like, uh, Happy Meals of the Future or something. But these little boxes are me of. Alright. To Bill make Wolfgang sorry he ever became Emperor. Emperor Wolfgang, very cool. Alright, so we got that, you can't interact with that. Whoops. Well, apparently this switch has a really good range, because I was trying to hit those three toggles right there. Or the breakers, I guess. And uh, that didn't pan out for us. Anyway, I guess, like I said, this is a safe spot, and once the third one's fired, we can progress. Okay, now they're doing a different pattern with those missiles, if anyone cares. Chill bills to the Welcome to the cool threat of the future. This is EGG. Alright, so. Uh, I guess we'll go down there. Oh, it's little chompies of the future. They look exactly the same. <laughs> what is that? Is that an ice cream cyclops? Wait, what? I want to see these guys. Yeah, they're still around. Not much has changed. Uh, let me pull him and. Who do we want to throw down in this fight? I guess we could go with Funny Bone and give a little love to the little guy. I'd do bat spin if I had her, but I don't. I so. have a bone to pick. She totally should have been out at Halloween. I don't know. It's been oh, yeah. so. oh, they have like little future hats. That's kind of cool. When they get up here, their uh, spins look awesome. So this is pretty much the safest way to do this. <laughs> Feel kind of cheap, but hey. Now uh, they're out of range. Alright, so sometimes those guys can be a little tricky. Kind of like a ranged battle, that's pretty cool. I see that too often. 
a fire door. To enter that with uh, we'll go Kaboom, I guess. I played with Wildfire a little bit last night off camera, so. Uh, what's that, idiot? <laughs> Looks like a goofball with a head. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Funny Bone's up to level 5. He just, he's kind of a trigger happy. He doesn't have high health. <clears throat> he's fairly quick. I can't believe that starfish is. Now that one I could, but the first one I could not. Where is the enemy? I cannot see. I guess there's two of them. I can't see. Okay, did we kill one? Yes. Show yourself. Alright, there he is. I just prefer this attack with Funny Bill at this point in time. Okay, so he's gonna be pretty well suited to beat him. What? Beating this guy. Huh. Oh, they got jetpacks. That's totally. I don't wanna like roll in front of him somehow. How did that hit us? I guess I'm gonna have to fool Funny Bone. A bit of a disappointment there. What does that do, I wonder? Like, I guess he could hit us here. Uh oh. Haha. <laughs> well, I don't... That seems odd. The good news is he leveled up, so he got a little help. Uh, meditation's on, boom. Let's go ahead and listen. Yes, we do. There used to be a Skylands Book of World Records, but I broke them all. Not just the records. But the books themselves. Note that he said not just the records, so he broke the records and the books. Now, uh, I assume he's going to take us back to the battle. If not, we have a Get small right crisis up, because there was a fire gate there. Oh my gosh, he's care. taking us. No, 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 no. I want to go back. I want to go back. I assumed he would like loop back down. Why would that be accessible? Why would that bounce pad have been ex ex accessible? <laughs> Who came up with that? That's horrible. So we just we missed out on all that. Can Thank I get jump back? Huh? Oh, you are kidding me. Well, that sucks. I mean, I was going to come back to do the uh, heroics anyway, but... Jeez. Alright, so an inconvenience of imps. This will be Wolfgang's quest. Hey, big stranger! Say, you haven't seen Wolfgang, have you? I know he's not our emperor anymore. Woohoo for that! But a situation has popped up that only he can solve. It involves using this vacuum droid to capture an ever-growing army of rabid imps. Should be a lot of fun. And on top of that, totally critical to the survival of our known universe. Okay, I don't know what's up with that, because he is still the Emperor. So I don't know if they're not supposed to like have that show up till you've actually trapped him or something. But uh, let's just go to Crypt King, I guess. So we can break the trap tedium. I've got the edge. But I am pretty miffed about what just happened. I'm hoping this is like a treasure chest or something. My blade is supreme. Hmm. Mm, there's a treasure chest. Okay, so I think we can break that. <laughs> we just broke it. Whoa. Now that's kind of weird. I don't know if we're supposed to be able to do that either. But we did. So. Oh, we did. I guess we did it backwards. Or I don't know. Oh, really strange. <laughs> what were you supposed to do? Is there a bridge in place over here? No. Huh. I guess this one. I mean, that makes sense because you break this piece here that we're standing in the place of, and that bridge appears. But what I did here is just stand here, and I broke a crystal that was here. And so I think... 
that you're supposed to go this way first. And we just kind of like broke the system. Like, what is this about? Nothing. It just looks cool, fluid. Okay, so we want to get over there. That looks like the rocket trap, actually, so that's cool. A uh, little bit of cash. So this is the pick upable bridge. <laughs> so, uh, there we go with that. Then once you have this, you should break this crystal, which would then unfurl the bridge in this direction, but we're awesome and we did that backwards. And then we would come over here and go to the treasure chest. So we would do that. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of miffed that that bounce pad just like... I assume you just like jump off the ledge and you go back down after getting this. It's cool we got the story scroll, but we could have gone in that fire gate and we did not get to. So, um, how is one supposed to proceed? I don't know if this would let you through. There's no bridge gate there. It's not going to let us do anything. <laughs> well, that's interesting. So, not quite, I guess, get how you're supposed to go over there. Doesn't seem to be anything here we can do. Huh. I don't know. I see, I don't guess we could, like, jump as far as we possibly can. So we can spawn over there. But I do not know how you get there. The good news is I didn't see anything, you know, like treasure chest, hats, uh, legendary treasure wise, but it might be wait. Let's try that again. Because we were using the bridge in this area exclusively. Now we gotta go all the way over here and pick it up. So, I think ideally you come in here, you know, at this point, and then you would walk that way, go back to the right, break that crystal, come in here, go across there to get the treasure chest, and then I guess pick the bridge up from there, and come over here, and throw it down. And, let's see what's going down in this area. Okay, so there's our crystal pad we needed. And I assume that it will take us all the way over there. Rising up. And I guess that rocket could be that is a legendary treasure. Alright. I think people uh, Daphne, a couple others, I think have always like do you have the rocket yet? So maybe this is what they're talking about. And of course it looks like the trap, so Let's go ahead and grab it. Alright, legendary rocket has been found. It looks pretty awesome. I'm excited to see where it goes and what it does. So, assuming we ever get out of here, uh, that is what we will begin to investigate. So, I feel pretty good that we've taken care of everything here. And we cannot go back to the battle for some weird reason. So, do not do what I did, or you will be faced with repeating the chapter. I guess it's a uh, happy taxi time. Thank you for choosing. Thank you for choosing Future Cab, the taxi of tomorrow, today. Can't move when you're doing this. I guess idle animations are still okay. I always try to scan the area, looking for like hidden. There's a cool little Saturn shot or something. A couple of Saturn. Moons, boulders, something. Alright, so that looks kind of important. <sighs> We've arrived at our destination. Thank you for choosing Future Cat. And that worked out well because we're at. Okay, I am not touching that. I am not at all touching that thing. Oh, good, we're back. And these guys are still. So this. This was fantastic, so that whole thing is like just a loop around. So that, oh my gosh, what was that? Okay. 
Uh, they've got some great range on these things. I've not played him in a long time, so bear with me. <laughs> I think we're point blank ready to go. Okay, we're ready to go. Alright, so happy day in the neighborhood. I guess that was one like really, really, really elaborate trip around the world. So this thing will take you to the story scroll, you'll go to a treasure chest, and you will get the legendary treasure. It's very important, and you will somehow return here. <laughs> so uh, that's that's quite quite the ordeal. I was very, very sad about this. I was like, how can you just leave a battle? But uh, I was thinking what usually happens to me in times like that is we progress with the level and then that would mean that everything oh, past God. that monster gate would have turned out to be bonus territory. So that said, one thing that is bonus territory is this fire element. Okay, so we actually got both elemental gates. That's nice. Skylanders of the fire element are stronger okay. in this zone. Cannonball. What are we supposed to do here? I assume that would do damage to us. Should we investigate? Yep, well, 50 at a time. That's pretty significant. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we need to run behind it. Not into it. If you have a faster character, you'd have to be... Oh, I thought that was like an area we could get. So this seems to be rotating counterclockwise the entire time. I'm trying to make sure there's like no edge, you know, this direction that we can walk on. This has to lead somewhere important. Okay, that's coming around fast. Come on, Kaboom. You need to be faster. Okay, so... Wait, so there was an edge there that we didn't see. So let's try to keep our eyes... I was looking to the outside and didn't see it. I don't... because I, I tried going off of these. So unless that was the new area. I don't know. Okay, so this would be where we haven't been. And there's a hat. But Kaboom already has the, one of the coolest hats ever. Especially for him, it's pretty much perfect. Um, that's gonna be strange hats. Extreme Viking hat, I was gonna say, it looks like a twisted Megaram Spyro Headrush hybrid, so that's pretty much what it is. Uh, plus 15 critical hit, plus 10 elemental power. I wish that was speed and armor. Um, that will sit for the time being, because you got to admit, the volcano hat, that is 100% kaboom right there. So That looks to be the only place you can get off. Uh, the rest of this appears to have, like, the banding and everything. So I guess we will exit now, although... It would make sense if there'd be one over there, like third, you know, like a Y formation. But there doesn't seem to be. So, let's do a quick objective check, shall we? Alright, so we got the two elemental gates. We got 18 of the 35 enemies. Only five more areas to go. Um, we need two treasure chests, a soul gem, and a wing sapphire, as well as one more hat. So, three hats in here. Um important thing to remember is sometimes, and I always forget Villains this, are stronger in this zone. but uh, sometimes they actually have it set up where the villain quests have items inside. Not all the time, and that's probably why I don't remember. But uh, anyway, let me see here. I'll check the chat real quick. Alright, so this is... It is the gaming it says nice. Love your time lapse videos. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Did not know how many people. Uh, actually, Tim was gonna watch, but uh, apparently his wife is pregnant that's and she nice was hungry. So there, that's stranger. kind of a little bit more important to we take care of. Use someone like you in the resistance. It's Knuckles Come version on. nine. All right. I'll take you to meet our undercover operative. Okay, I didn't really listen to that. Okay, I was gonna say like we can't proceed here. It's good to see Snuggles. I guess that's like the ninth generation. I assume that's what that would be. It's technically X9, not B9.0. Uh oh! I don't think that alarm flaring is a good thing! 
We're caught in some grabber beam. Quick, do something to break its hold. Anything. All right, so can't really see the. Oh, do we have to? Can I run on those? Perhaps. Nope. Looks like we can. <laughs> so. Uh, instructions have been a bit vi Okay, there's a freaking cannon over here. Well, that explains some things, doesn't it? <laughs> I thought we had to, like, use these blocks and hide behind them or something. I guess we can just get these off of the truck. I don't know if that's the best idea. I know it'll make moving the cannon easier, but... Uh, I was thinking we could, like, use them to hide behind. That's, that's classic Mario, of course. So, um lines up, doesn't it? No. So this, I guess the distance kind of makes this look a little different than it is. What are we supposed to hit? Oh, that's weird. Wow! You're good! Now let's get moving before more of those grabbers grab us! I have a feeling they're going to. Can't shoot the cannon either, sadly. All right, we so hopefully made it. now we just meet up with our next operative, Zeta Blobbers. He should be somewhere around here, and we'll approach you with the code word POM. All right, so tech element. Let's go ahead and who do we want to use here? I guess we can do Chopper. That kind of be cool. Dinosaurs in the future. That's, that's not Dino <laughs> not to be expected, I suppose. I haven't played this chopper in a while. There's Persephone. Cut power to very Well, I didn't figure that. Alright, so here come some enemies. Let's see if we can cut any of them down from the back here. The sooner we can start decking these guys, the better. I haven't really experienced this secondary attack with spinners. So we got an ice cream or a popsicle that way. Oh, I did not see them coming. Okay, so that wasn't beautiful, but it worked out fairly well. Um, there's our power supply, I would assume. There's another enemy coming in from over there. I assume since that's a monster gate, that is how the chapter is supposed to proceed. Well, this is a cool enemy. What is that? Is that the bone chomp or something? I've never seen it. Now we got our enemy go. I did not know that guy had a radio attack. Oh, that's a code word, by the way. Well, one of them was. The other was an actual cough. Anyway, I can get you inside the big bad woofer. But of course, only if you follow me. Cough. <laughs> uh, that was also a cough. Okay, that was a bad timing. <laughs> but, alright, I'm not following him. We're gonna go over here see if there's a treasure chest or something. And then we'll come, I guess I'll kill this now. And then we can deal with Persephone. And then... We will go this way. Seems like there should be a treasure chest over here. It won't let me go down there. Aha. Uh -huh. Walk on this. No. I thought we could like walk under that grating or something. Um, there is some stuff over there. But I don't know how to get to it. So. Huh. Let's take a look from over here. Well, I don't know. I don't see any way to get there, really. So we'll just grab the cash and scoot, I guess. We have to come back for the villain quest, of course. So, not a huge deal. We miss something. I like to get as much as we can. 
I don't want to get too far from this because we might trigger it. You know, like a cutscene and gates closed behind us or something. Okay. So there is <laughs> operative bloppers. Can we go over here? Yes, we can. So there should be something for blood. Okay, our villain stash. So, I wonder what that power breaker is gonna do. Anyway, let's, uh, I guess Crankcase is here handy, so I'll throw him in the portal. Dr. Crankcase. Here we go. Here we go, that line gets me every Dr. time. So, uh, Chopper doesn't technically need the money, but no, he's not like me. Just loaded out the walls we get either. So. Uh, that I was kind of hoping there'd be like more future. That's kind of more like traditional Skylands loot. I like the future coins very well. Let's see what this thing does. Oh, so I guess you do have to go down there. I figured he was gonna like. Well, I'm secret agent Blopper. I'll turn that out for you, Skylander. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that area wasn't that secret after all. Still. Well, oh, you know what? Actually, did that go anywhere else? I guess it doesn't. All right. Well, that was a uh, pointless research, I suppose. At least we get. I did hear Chibu in the background, so we solved that one. All right. So let's see what he's got to say to us. I guess. That is some good switch flipping. Can you go down there? It looks like there's gonna be like a boss battle down in there. But can we go now? The answer is oh, no. yes. You've been caught in the Atom Smasher! Don't worry, happens to the best of us sometimes. I'll find a way to get you out. Well, actually, meantime, I went down there on my just own. Just try not to get wheel. crushed! So survive till the gate opens. What is that? I guess that's an atom. He destroyed those atoms. I'll get this shut down eventually. How do you destroy the atoms when you can't hit them? Uh, I, you might be better off not hitting them because you can't apparently hit the uh, little ones. And then if you break them all, you have a ton of, like, if you break all the big ones, you got more little ones to dodge, and they move. I guess if you run into the little ones, <laughs> you break. I guess that was supposed to happen. But I, I was actually trying to come in here. I wasn't attempting to cross the bridge. So maybe it's like a timed sequence or something. Yeah, we appreciate that, Dr. Crankies. Let's see if we can... Okay, so that will break him. I guess the rockets are a little erroneous sometimes. So he was sending us this way. And we can't jump up there. Uh, we can jump up here with the bounce pad. So... Popsicle we could actually use. There's some stuff over there. Okay, so I'm assuming that this stuff would be worthwhile. Maybe we can knock these two in or something. Okay. So I think this would be safe and not the way we're supposed to go. Well, I'm hoping anyway. Alright, so there's a treasure chest up there. Apparently, we have to move a bunch of more things. But at least we'll get the treasure chests. And some more future coins, which are awesome. Alright. I wonder how many of these. Maybe we just need this one. We'll actually get us there, I think. It should, because I don't think we can move those other two. <laughs> you know? They're like pinned against the wall. So. Alright, we'll jump up here. 
jump up there. We got a lot of turkey legs. Planet ham. This is cool. I guess they're ham legs. Yeah. And of course, the ubiquitous treasure chests. Let's go ahead and grab that. It's almost like a beach or something. We got all the treasure chests. So that's a welcome change from last time. Ooh, a new discovery. Uh, what are we missing? Um, I know a hat for sure. We got the enemy goal, got the gates. We need a soul gem, the wing sapphire, and a hat. Now some of that could potentially be with Maskermind and Wolfgang, but I wouldn't imagine that have all three items we're missing. Wait, how many areas have we been to? Okay, so only one more area. Well, that means we're getting close to the sweet epic battle. I don't know how Wolfgang's gonna be, actually, in this battle. I'm kind of, I'm hoping it's, you know, tough. I don't know that Chopper, uh, box stock level 6, is the right guy for the job, <laughs> but we'll see what happens, you know. Um, ooh. Okay, now all you gotta do is walk through that Atom Smasher over there. Seems safe enough, right? Okay, so instead of doing that, it looks like we can go up here, and I'm hoping... Okay, so that's our wing sapphire suite. So, how are you supposed to get up there? We have to move these blocks again? Maybe? Well, I don't think I can, actually. So this one is going to be stuck here. I can't get all, all behind it. These two are obviously not going anywhere. Uh, that one... Can I walk the border? I can walk the border, but I can't move it. And I, since I can't move that one, I can't move this one. We're probably not supposed to be walking the rail like that. Uh, are there any other blocks? There don't seem to be. I don't want to go <clears throat> too far that we trigger something. Sometimes we go back down here. Nothing. Hopefully it resets the blocks or something. Maybe that's a makeable jump, I don't know. It seems like we would have been closer to it. Alright, so how do we get up there? This is probably one of those deals where you're supposed to use the blocks to get to this first. Like that stack of two, I think would have fit perfectly. And this is probably the grid that they all run on. It is. So, yeah, I think we're going to miss this. But these two here that were stacked... I think you need to actually move them to this farthest most point and then I think when you jump up here you would actually be able to land that. Uh, Chopper's got pretty good hop skills and he's just not getting there. Let's see if we can uh, do it with a trap master. I don't think we'll be able to but it's just like earlier we were able to reach across that void with Crypt King's sword and kind of back end the uh, intended path, you know. Okay, I don't think we'll be able to do it at all. That's I'm pretty sure what I told you with the stacked ones is going to be correct. But I at least can show you where this is, and I'm pretty confident that's how you would actually get it. So at that point in time, we're missing two items. The hat... Oh, the soul gem. I wouldn't think a soul gem would be locked up. Maybe it's a special... I don't know. Anyway, we're missing a soul gem and a hat, and then I think I know how to for sure get that, at least you saw that, so uh, I guess we will progress on and just, I have to come back to do the villain quest for villainography, so not a huge deal there, but um, yeah, I think we just kind of come around, like over there, that's where the little popsicle was, I think, so in we go. Skylanders of the undead element. Okay, so enter the big bad woofer. I was just kind of trying to like, take some of this in. <laughs> yeah, that guy is super. Are we supposed to battle blaster? Or is that the start? I mean, like the uh, little intro to the chapter. So there's some sheet music. Let's see what he is. You made it. I've deduced that the secret to destroying this big bad woofer is to locate its weak point. All giant evil weapons have a weak point, you know. 
Just find the blueprints and we'll figure out what it is. Oh, geez, we were getting shot at while that was going down. Um, I think I saw a Traptanium, but I actually know I saw a Traptanium. So we're going to actually be able to go that direction. And hopefully there's the Soul Gym. The Wing Sapphire, I'm, I'm very confident. Let's get it how I mentioned it. So. Chompies or something. I'm not sure what those guys are. I really do miss the villain introductions. You know. Oh, there's two of them. They blend in with this uh, red floor, I guess. Ah, the armor came through. Suck on that blaster. And I assume this is Blaster Tron. I don't actually know for sure. He doesn't have a proper introduction. I do not want to go that way. That's how I definitely know that's how you progress. I want to go over here. Okay, there's a soul gem and some cash. So. This be cool. So it's amazing this isn't actually like considered an area, you know? What does this do? Enemy control sequence complete. How is this not an area? I don't guess I understand that. The spirit awakens. Does not seem like he should be having these guys join. Although I guess they're Crypt King is not the quickest dude for this type of thing. Like I could be getting hits off and something else. I do like I wonder if we'll have access to that like a blaster pack he's got. Not the gun, but like the jetpack that moves around, you know? I'm kind of more interested in that than the actual gun itself. Although the gun's pretty good. Okay. So we captured Blaster Tron, I think. Let's find out. I do not have a, a spare light trap, so. Uh, can't do this. Bounty claim, 1300. Okay, so that definitely was Blaster Trump, and we got a Sky Stone, so it should be a good one. So, I don't quite understand why this isn't like another area. Like, in all honesty, they usually do like this would have been an area, and then behind the Traptanium would have been an area. But, not a huge deal. Alright, so we actually need the pizza, so that's nice. there's our ubiquitous Sky Stone. Luckily, we got the sky stealing before we came over. So let's play him, I guess. Most people these days play space chess or even space tac toe. But me, I've got a love for the classics, like Skystone Smash. Wanna play? Cumbus the what? <laughs> okay, let's let's play. Alright, commence retro gaming. Ten thousand, I guess, okay. So bla yeah, Blastertron's a pretty good card. So I guess we'll roll with that. Um Cross Crow, we didn't have him last time we played. So yeah. Uh, then again, this guy's liable to have like a crazy deck. People probably been throwing their sky stones away for eons, you know. Cruiser, Here cruiser. All right, so he's only got ten hearts, so that's not too bad. I guess let's just uh, take him down. Blaster Tron. Probably wasn't the smartest play in retrospect, but we'll see what he does High here. Five. Okay, so that'll do four hit points. It only has one heart. So, let's get this guy in the mix, and that'll actually take care of Doctor that. Crankcase. And then we should know that album will do the three damage. It's go time. Trying to kind of save Luminous in case he's got like some really good stones that we don't know about. Frankenstein. Okay, so... If I actually play him here, we would lose him, but that would set him down to three, and then zero, and then negative one, so let's just go ahead and get it over. Nightshade. Lightning strike. Can't underestimate Nightshade's abilities Prepare in for a thrashing. Like I say, we lose him there, but this kills 
Gumbus the 10,000th, and this adds insult to injury. And we defeated him. Da -da -dun, and we collected his money in the future. Whoa! I can't believe I found anyone who even remembers how to play Skystone Smash. Look how huge we are. <laughs> that was a funky angle. Alright, so let's just go get that soul gem. Oh. <laughs> I thought the bridge game was happening. Who is that? Can't tell. Huh. Well, I, have to, I guess I actually pick this up and put that way. Kinda looked like a cross between like Fling Kong and Doom Bug. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I hit that. I wonder if these are recordings that they're playing in the future, or if Chirabil is just like you know, an immortal voice of Ranger. Who's that? Where is my iPad? There it is. Okay, we got a new follower on Twitch. Uh, welcome to Forge Zero. That sounded, with the headset on, it sounded like that was like under my feet. And I was like, it's not there. <laughs> so I had to turn around and find it. Who is, oh, it's uh, Trailblazer. Okay, that's cool. So let's uh, get all this stuff picked up. Crypt King versus Wolf King, that might kind of be a cool battle. Speaking of cool, Trailblazer is hot. He's a fire element in New Lander. Let's go ahead and preview him. Alright. He is about the only... Uh, I have seen... I think there's three of him and one Cobra Cadabra I've seen in Target. Cobra Cadabra disappeared and there's still at least two Trailblazers. I've always been gonna buy him. I've got a... Custom painting I want to do with him. Alright, here we go. We are giving away tickets to the Wolf King concert tonight. I hope you will come and attend. All trolls are encouraged to enter at gate T. Okay, so. Um, let's actually do an objective check here. Because we should be missing... Okay, obviously Wolfgang here. <laughs> and then, uh, the Wing Sapphire, I know how to get that thing. It's sad we didn't get it when I know exactly how to get it, but we know where it is, we know how to get it, so that's almost like having it checked. There should be, like, the partial bottom end of the check mark, in my opinion. Um, the hat, I don't know. There's a chance it could be either A, with Maskermind's quest, or B, with Wolfgang's quest. So... Uh, we should be able to come back through and find out if it's there or not. And if it's not, I have no idea where it is. <laughs> but uh, I was going to say, if I need that stupid bridge, I was going to be mad. Those look like blueprints, all right. Funny that they would be just sitting there, but <laughs> whatevs. Okay, so maybe those are the Wolfer blueprints. I guess there's a chance we could actually maybe get the hat in here. I don't know. There's like so much area. Guess I should kind of explore all these little crannies. There doesn't seem to be any. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and break out all this stuff. Pyramid <laughs> power! That's funny. Alright. Oh, uh, we can't pick it up. Done. There's the blueprints. Sports ring figure, you did it! You found the blueprints! Now all we gotta do is destroy the power conduits from the outside. Right now, right now, right now! The Big Bad Wolfer is about to take off and broadcast the loudest concert in history! All throughout the Skyland! Uh-oh! That means we gotta get off of this thing and into our ship! Fast! That's a pretty awesome ship. I wish Flynn was here to drive it. That was pretty fast. That's pretty cool looking cutscene right there. Okay, Skylands, let's rock! <laughs> I'm 
Okay. According to these blueprints, all we need to do is destroy the power conduits which power the big bad woofer. So let's do that. Okay, Skylander. Time to start shooting. I don't Just even know what button shoots you crazy. Okay, thank you. I was gonna say. Just shoot those conduits. Oh, uh, geez. I thought we had to, like, turn the ship around to, uh, be able to do this. <laughs> I was like, we can't be shooting like this. We gotta turn the whole, whole aircraft around, my gosh. The only way to stop this concert is to pull the plug. Okay, so they're firing, but I'm just, I think I now understand. I was thinking they were going to shoot the missiles. They apparently shoot the green view at us. Oh, so we can turn with me. They should really explain this stuff. I don't know that's the best idea we've ever had. Ooh. <laughs> Probably should have been hit by that one, but I feel like they've had enough cheap shots. Alright, so how did that hit us? Okay, well, I guess our ship health is okay. Uh, the next time I go through here, I think we're gonna do significantly better. Yeah, that was a cheap shot. Even though the ship took damage, still hurts me for some reason. Hey, hey, you did it! Oh, we did it. Okay, well. Wasn't pretty, but I guess we got it. Nobody got mad. What? They've got more conduits we need to destroy? Oh, that is so like a bad guy, isn't it? Always having more conduits. You'll have to break through that force field if you want to shoot. Oh, and there's little towers down there. This is not good. Let's actually take this down. I guess we can't shoot the towers down. Oh, you can. Okay. So I'm learning as we go. Obviously, let's get rid of these annoying little dudes. Can you not go? The only way to stop this concert is to pull the plug. And since we can't literally pull the plug, you can shoot it. Surprised we haven't just like totally lost this thing. <laughs> oh, it's too, uh, not doing that great. Okay, so apparently you need to like buoy the ship as you go. I guess it wants to hang out in like the middle tier. Even though the ship took damage, Alright, so we're kind of figuring this out. I think we'll be okay. We're probably going to get hit a few more times. We don't really care. <laughs> Just flip this around, try to beat that guy. Okay, so. I promise next time when I go through this off camera, I'll probably do that really well. We've shut down the Big Bad Woofer's power supply, and the concert is cancelled! We did it! I kinda wanted Hurrah! to see the concert, actually, but... whatever. I guess there's still the matter of capturing Emperor Wolfgang. I'll leave that to you, though. Sweet. He, um... terrifies me? Nice. Well, well, well. Look who's managed to attend my big concert, some 10,000 years into the future! You know, Skylander, we don't have to fight. Together, we could rule this place. There's no chaos, no Doom Raiders, and you can get pizza here in 30 seconds or less! Nah, let's just fight instead! Wolfgang. Alright. Let's see. Awesome. I guess I need to... I don't really know his attacks, <laughs> so... Uh, that's... I hope we can... If we could cling to a wall with him, I would be on Cloud 11. I don't even know what Cloud 11 is, but I would be there. <laughs> and it would be awesome. Let's we'll see if the swarm can get him. Get us better. This is kind of more of like a traditional battle. Like, Funny thing about the future, Skylander. Stuff from the past keeps coming back into style. <laughs> I 
It's important to know Crypt King is actually one of my upgraded characters. So we got that good news. Uh, it's not like I'm out here to box stock or something. I tried to jump in. Wondering when the laser light portion of this console is going to take place. How about now? Okay. A symphony of pain. Um, did not know those were this, <laughs> but whatever. Orchestrate the haze. You want it on this crankcase? I'll symphony put you in. Put him in. Let's let's honor his request, shall we? Crankcase versus Wolf Gang. You see it right here. Crankcase could have kept his mouth shut, but he just had to get in here. So uh, he will not do the damage that we were able to get from Crankcase. Prepare for your swan song. There will be no encore. This is the prime time to attack Wolfgang. Crankcase is totally missing out. <laughs> He's just like a step behind, really. It was a pretty cool battle, though, Crankcase and Wolfgang. Although, if I was running it myself, I would totally be Wolfgang and shut down Crankcase. I think if we were Crypt King, we'd be done with this battle, by the way. But, uh, this is kind of. Okay, so we could. That was a nice little collision there. Wolfgang defeated. <laughs> Alright. Okay, yeah, I'm actually going to capture him. We're gonna use the haunted hatchet. Where did I put that thing? I specifically had. There it is. I was blending in with the cowboys blanket. Thank you. Whoa. Sadly, the chapter's over, so I can't play with it. Oh, the bittersweet. Stick around for the encore! Wolfgang trapped. Alright, that was pretty cool. Uh, enjoyed that battle. Blasting the Woofer, not so much, but the battle with Wolfgang, yes. And I bet his Sky Stone is freaking epic. Alright, so, achievement unlocked, 10 back from the future. Now, we're missing a hat, it could be with Rage Mage, it could be with Wolfgang, and then the Wing Sapphire, I know exactly where that thing is, so it shouldn't be too bad. But uh, let's continue on, see what the storyline goes, and where we can place the legendary treasure, things of that nature. Place. Great! <clears throat> At Future Post we say we will travel very far or we'll deliver it today when you order it tomorrow. Here's your cheese. It smells worse than anything in Skylands, and I wasn't even programmed to smell. Or love. Dum -de dum 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 dum. <laughs> Your magnificent queen, I would like to take this opportunity to present the three golden rules that I now expect all of you to follow. Rule number one, all Skylanders must surrender to me immediately and release my fellow Doom Raiders. Rule number two, all gold in Skylands must be delivered to me as fitting tribute. And rule number three, I reserve the royal right to make up 
an infinite number of morons. <laughs> and just in case, let me show you what will happen if you break any of my rules. Now I've got Skylands right where I want it. <laughs> Great! You fools really blew it this time! Her royal lowness now has all of Skylands and us totally at her mercy! Oh, why were things never this easy for me? We're not licked yet. We just gotta stop that Golden Queen before she has a chance to make good on her threats. Any idea where she might be, smart guy? Eh, eh, don't be ridiculous. She's far too clever for that. She keeps her stupid temple in some stupid secret location so no one can steal any of her stupid gold. That's it. Gold! Eh, what? What are you blabbing about? Look here, shorty. There's a legendary gang of air pirates who live way up in the Sky Highlands. They've got this magic prism that can point the way to extremely large deposits of gold. A real time saver when it comes to plundering. Right, and since Queenie there is totally made out of gold, that piratey plunder prism should lead us right to her. Boom! Let's go there now! Well, there's just one little problem over there, Flynn. Get all the way up to the Sky Highlands, we're gonna need a big rocket. Boom withdrawn. Where are we gonna get a big rocket? I think I know just the place. Skylander, when you're ready, come see me and Captain Flynn. Alright, so that was pretty cool. Uh, we are done now, Chapter 13. I guess technically not done. I'm gonna go back, do Rage Mage, uh, Villain Quest, and then Wolfgang's Villain Quest after I kinda take a look at him. I think that's... is that Quigley or Chaos down there? I would have to be Quigley. It's too short to be Chaos. Um, Chaos is probably roaming around the Academy or something. But, uh, really nice cutscenes there. Uh, yeah, that's definitely Quigley. <laughs> oh, the Wolf King. He's classic. Alright, let's, uh, I'm trying to figure out where the rocket goes here. It's our legendary treasure. Uh, everyone, seems like people are always telling me, oh, wait till they get the rocket. And, uh, I don't know where to go. There's no trail of coins or anything. So, if I was a rocket, I would be high up, not in the kitchen. So we'll start this way. With me in the hatch up. Okay, I actually, I think I'm, we're going to find it. <laughs> right off the bat, which, that doesn't happen usually. Let's see what it's going to do. You found the legendary rocket in the future of Skylands. So, what does it do? Anything? Okay, let's find out. Yes. Aha, the observatory. <laughs> victory is ours. Obviously, never been in here. I think this is what people were always talking to me about. Right away. But, uh, let's see what all we got in here. Looks like we can... What does that take us? To the game room, I think. Uh, is that an Easter egg? Ah. What is that, a bow for Spyro or something? You got a trinket, Spyro's shield. Why not? Plus, plus five critical hit. Okay, that looks really stupid. I didn't see the other stat in the game. But, uh, I guess it's okay. So these are still just worth seven. Alright, okay. some cool maps hanging around on the wall. Kind of looks like an archaic Hugo type workshop. Um, let's go ahead, I guess, and uh, look through here. So there's the rocket. Is that all you do? Hmm. 
Okay, so yeah, it just actually times you out on... Can you press any buttons? Nope. Hello. But we did spawn him in. Okay, and it's glitching now or something. Okay, so here's Wolfgang. Uh, he's a bit quicker than uh, Crypt King was. Press the tag button to play so. as your captured enemy. Okay, so that just takes you back down here, just like that would. So... Uh, let's actually run out, probably I'll end the stream checking Wolfgang out for you. Then I'll record his box stock stuff, and uh, then we will proceed on. Go from there. Uh, you know what, actually I haven't checked work stuff in a while. Guess we should do that. I think I'll do all like the coin catching off camera. Ah, of course. Alright. You're looking for something new. Yeah. Smashing! Now let's just see what items I have for you today. I recorded all these. I don't know that I've uh, shown them. Brand new arena. Da -da. Skystone cheat. Uh, I've got this all written down. I haven't done it since probably like I didn't do it after last chapter. So there is some stuff in there. I think I. Went through and bought it all out, so I'll try to figure all that out as well. But I'll do all the uh, like cash stuff and the chimney and everything off camera just to save time on the stream. But uh, let me just switch back because he's a bit quicker. <laughs> so uh, plus he looks awesome. I've waited a long time for this moment. So. All right, let's just jump around because we're cool. All right, so. He's a Doom Raider, that means he's got three attacks, he looks awesome, I hope they don't ruin his aesthetics when he evolves. Primary attack? Wow, 286. That's pretty sweet. I won't... I guess I could. I could do the math, but I want to save it for Villanography, so... Uh, that's just like, I guess, the Harp Swing or something I'll call it. Uh, secondary attack? Alright! Okay, that's like the... Power slot, I'll call it 204. And then it seems to change the tune as you do it in succession. Tertiary attack. Oh, that is awesome. I know people are like, oh, that's a good numbers. Uh, I'm just holding the Y button down. Oh, and he can turn. This is really cool. Now check out the notes. They just, like, swarm everything. This is a literal screen cleaner. Uh, it's hitting that far dummy. It can hit the middle range dummy. Um, that's awesome. That's probably the best attack I've seen from a villain. So, very, very happy with that. I wish we could do the same moveset that he had in the battle. Cool. But... Take that. Wait, wait, wait. So he does have the jump slam. Does it do extra damage? No. But, it looks way cool. Uh, can you jump? Do anything else? No. Uh, can we multitask? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let that be rough. Alright, so there's that tune. A symphony of play! Tune two. Three. So at least three different tunes, so that's pretty awesome, and those notes are just beastly. Uh, I'm really, really happy with Wolf Gang here, so it uh, totally makes the late night stream worth it. But uh, let's go ahead, like I said, I'll get all the cash off camera, I'll record his villainography, get all that done, go back through... I'm hoping the hat is in his or Rage Mage's quest, and I know where the stupid winged sapphire is, so it uh, shouldn't be a too long what we missed video in this one. Uh, let me check the chat. Oh, okay, so Forge Zero, which uh, he just followed us a little bit ago, uh, he says it's in Wolfgang's quest, I assume that's the hat. So that's cool, that means all we missed is the winged sapphire, and technically, I didn't really miss it, we saw it, and I know how to get it, I just, you know 
did things in the wrong order, which happens sometimes. But uh, that's it. This was awesome. Uh, my favorite part was the Wolf Gang. I don't think we did too well, like destroying the Wolfer, uh, but it was mainly I just I wasn't familiar with the controls for the uh, uh, ship. Uh, kind of learned as we went on that, so we should progressively get better with that. <clears throat> I won't mind going through and doing the Wolfgang battle multiple times, so uh, looking forward to the next chapter as well, so that should be pretty cool. But uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. That is pretty much it for tonight, Chapter 13, The Future of Skylands. I'm actually starting to lose my voice. <laughs> so it's probably a good time to quit, but uh, as always, if you follow along on Twitch, you can uh, join in on the conversations. Sometimes I do them earlier than 4 in the morning, but that's just the way things panned out tonight. So the cool thing there, it's you know, a better time, I guess, for people on the flip side of the world, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, things of that nature. So uh, everyone else in America, you're probably all asleep, so my apologies, you can see it on YouTube. That's it. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Uh, if you have not checked out the Skylander Club forum, I encourage you to do just that, skylanderclub.com. Uh, is the site. If you like what you see there, sign up. We would absolutely love to have you. Uh, that said, uh, shout out to Tim for going to make the stream. <laughs> I had some stuff come up. And then, uh, let's see here. Adis the Gaming and Forward Zero. Big thanks to y'all. Not sure where you're located, but uh, as always, thanks for tuning in. And uh, like I said, Chapter 14, I may go back in time a little bit and uh, finish up some of the stuff I missed in other chapters, get that mixed in with the playlist, and uh, just kind of take it from there. But uh, This was an awesome final battle with Wolfgang. He was my most anticipated villain by a mile, and uh, he has not disappointed. Only thing I worry about, he looks perfect like this. I'm afraid that I won't like his evolved aesthetics very well, but uh, the damage numbers should offset that. Plus, with him, I actually am using two separate traps, so I will always have this Wolfgang available to me in the Haunted Hatchet, and then I will stick him in the Legendary Spectral Skull and will come in, and that's what I will use for the evolved Wolfgang. So that's my strategy there. Uh, that's the only villain currently that I play. Chaos, of course, I'll do that for. But outside of those two, there's not been a villain that I've felt the need to actually have stock and evolved on hand. I almost always like the stock aesthetics better, but hey, the damage number's better, so, you know, kind of run with that. But uh, once again, thanks so much for watching. If you're seeing this on, uh, well, Ford Zero says the evolved is silver. That might, I don't know, it might be okay, but I, I think I would like this better. Uh, just because that's pretty much 99% of the time how it's turned out thus far. But, uh, what was I saying? Uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, make sure you are subscribed. Leave a like, leave a comment, uh, leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you thought of the Wolf King battle, who your favorite Doom Raider is. And, uh, similarly, make sure to tell your friends about it and encourage them to subscribe and do the same. That said, big thanks to everybody for checking out the stream. Thanks for watching on YouTube as well. And until next time, I will catch you later.